Hi guys, today in this video we are going to balance this equation in which we have octane and oxygen gas on the reactant side and carbon dioxide and water on the product side. So to balance this equation we first need to know the number of atoms on both reactant and product side. So starting with the reactant side we have 8 carbon atoms, 18 hydrogen atoms and 2 oxygen atoms. For product side we have a 1 carbon atom, 2 hydrogen atoms and 2 plus 1, 3 oxygen atoms. Okay, so we will balance the oxygen atoms uh, at the last. We will first start with the carbon atoms. So as you can see here on reactant side we have 8 carbon atoms but on the product side we only have 1. So we are going to multiply this number by 8 and hence we now have 8 uh, carbon atoms on both reactant and product side. For uh, hydrogen atoms we have 18 and on reactant side we only have 2. So if we multiply this number by 9 we get 18 as well. So we are going to place a coefficient of 9 uh, for H2O and 8 for CO2. So now we have balanced the number of carbon and hydrogen atoms on both the sides but if you look at oxygen atoms there is still a long way to go. So uh, for oxygen we only have 8 into 2 that is 16 and plus 9 which is in the water molecule so we have 25 atoms of uh, oxygen over here but when we are looking at the reactant side we only have two atoms of oxygen so uh, to get the total number of 25 we need to multiply this number by 25 by 2 to get the number 25 but often it is uh, suggested in chemical reactions to use whole numbers and to balance this equation so what we need to do is we need to multiply all the numbers by 2 all the coefficients by 2 which can help us make it better so we are placing 2 over here and so now we have 2 into 8, 16 uh, atoms of carbon and that is the same for the reactant side as well. And if you count the number of atoms for hydrogen and oxygen, now by placing this, we have the same number of atoms on both reactant and product side. So this is the balanced equation for uh, C for octane combustion in which we are balancing the equation by using whole numbers and trying to balance out the number of atoms on both the sides. I hope this video helps you to understand on how to balance the chemical equations. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.